Thank God. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some free star militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. You and me both. Before spacers broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the UC Marines. So, and this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. Just a few years ago, that would be unthinkable. My, how things have changed. We most certainly did. The whole situation isn't exactly standard operating procedure. After we clear the outpost, I'll talk your ear off about the whole situation. But right now, clock's ticking. Roger. So first things first, the makeshift infirmary isn't gonna hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and... Well, you get the picture. Here's hoping it's not just me still standing. Be safe, be bold. A dead soldier ain't no help to no one. do anyway. I think she's a spacer. She's the one that cleared him out. Corporal Lizama, UC Marines, medic. We thought we were done for. I'm. I'm. Uh -huh. And meet the esteemed doctor, Musa, right? It's his party we're crashing. Mahoney's a machine. She's wasted on this rock. And this... Uh, what the heck are you guys doing here, anyway? Doctor. Doctor! Yes. I mean... Yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We, uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. Medicinal, industrial, or just understanding how life propagates. We work purely on non-military applications. It's part of our charter. No. They've... They've been trying to take over the whole system. For months. Listen, we can't waste time. The Freestar CEO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor, near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. 
It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck. Someone's been taking out the spacers. I... I don't believe it. The scientists here are good people. Every one of them that died is a loss for all of us. Are they all... gone? Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Holy shit. The two of you did all of that. Huh. You're welcome. No pictures, please. We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. I... I don't care. Her men have risked their lives, died for us. But, Lieutenant, they're the UC. We can't... Sergeant, I am ordering you to help us save those Marines. But how? We got a security override key. If the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. They are soldiers that need us. You... Up for it. We could really use your help. <sighs> A 
Then let's do this. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. Lay it on me. Another scientist? Well, I'll be. Huh. You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? What, the explorers? I didn't know you guys packed such a punch. Captain Myung, you see Marines. Veteran of the Colony Wars. The shield of Pardu Pass. Best damn marine in the service. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Sai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. Even I've heard of you. You're a big deal in the UC. I just managed to stay alive, mostly. Don't believe everything you see on the news. The news is really more of a boring reality show most of the time. Captain, and all her marines. Oh, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be Freestar, but your ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. Look around. Nobody here is my enemy. Torres and his men, they're just poor SOBs posted in the arse end of nowhere. Just like my marines. We have more in common with each other than the damn politicians back home. I was given authority to engage the spaces in Altair. As far as I can tell, this outpost is in the Altair system. True, it happens to be a Freestar Collective facility, but they don't need to know that. Anyway, we've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here, but it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. But they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Give me a few years and I'd make you a Marine to be feared. <laughs> I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spaces could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spaces. I... I know this is asking a lot. But lives are... at stake. Just go quickly and safely.
How can I be of service, Captain? Take me to the stars, Captain. Objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. Taurus, thank you. Thank you. This situation is getting out of control. Corporal Mahoney radioed you coming, but I didn't know if we could hold out. Not all of us made it. But you're a regular hero. Torres did that. He's so damn green. But all right. Mahoney said for us to go to ground. There's a cave nearby we're going to hole up in until this is all over. Don't worry, I'll keep the civvy safe from here. These spaces are terrible.
Mahoney said the research camp is all clear. I... I don't know where we'd be without you. Most likely decomposing in some unmarked grave. Good on you both for making that mission of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. There ain't much room for honor in this damn business, so we have to hold on to what we can. Captain, you should bring up your plan. I... I believe it's a good one. The Spacers haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. Ain't that the truth? But I'll take any one of the heroes here over a dozen of them. I concur with the Captain. We can't hold out if we don't cut off the manpower. The Spacers have two fighter groups. If you take those out, the enemies will be stranded. So, launch that fancy ship of yours and get to work.
I you honor good people. Fight alongside you. Every one of them that died is a loss for all of us. So many people. That's the price of command, Torres. Every decision leads to blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did, here. <sighs> Some things... you never get over. Altair's safe because of you. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestar and ask them to give you a medal. Now wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. Might be you want your medal, though. Looks like we have ourselves an old-fashioned mercenary. I'm... I'm not sure if I would have done all this if the roles were reversed, Myung. But I will never forget you. You're young, and you've got a future ahead of you. A bit of advice. I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways, big ways. Don't. It may hurt your career, but I look back with pride at my service. Especially today. Hunkering down in the mud for years gives you a lot of time to think. All us ground pounders are philosophers. I sincerely hope I never see you across the lines on the battlefield, Captain. If you do, Lieutenant, I will do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> Soldiers! It's time to get out of the Free Star's hair. Savor this. Moments like this are all too rare. 